So I'm just going to quickly show you Anyway Data, which is at anywaydata.com. And it's an application that allows us to edit data. So we can upload CSV files or any delimited files, tab delimited files, JSON, JavaScript, Markdown, Gherkin, whatever else. And then edit it in a grid, but it will also let us create test data. So I'm just going to show you how I normally do this. Say I want to have a, a set of data uh, with a first name, uh, a last name, um, an email and an address. So what I'll do is I'll knock out the basic schema here in the text field. Then it's picked everything up as a regex. And in this case, it's just a string because we can use um, regex values in here. If say I wanted this to be um, any character between A to Z, let me generate 23 of those. So we've got random data in here and the rest of them are just the strings. Um, but because this has faker and you can see faker over here, we've got access to pretty much the full faker API. So if I want to, I could say the first name is going to be name dot first name. And then that will put in the faker value there. Then if I generate the data now, we'll see the, the first names in there. But what I'll tend to use is rather than type in the information here and remember it from the API, I'll use the drop down here. And this is supposed to be the last name. So let's pick last name. Then this is going to be an email. So let me choose an email and this is going to be an address. Now, one of the interesting things with Faker is if I type in address, you can see that we've got all the zip code, city, building number and everything else, but not really a full um, address. But with Faker, we have a fake function that allows us to combine values together. So I can say fake, then Faker functions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, uh, let's choose fake and put in the, let's say building number. So that would be address dot building number. And we'll have, I guess, the street name. So address. street name. So now those values are in there in the value section, we've got the fake. So if I generate now, we should see an actual address in the address list. And now if I set the text from the grid there, you can see that we have all this in uh, markdown or I could export it as CSV or a tab delimited file, we could export it as JSON if we're going to push it through into an API, we could put this into Gherkin. If we are using a BDD style tool, if we want to print it in docs, we can output it as ASCII. So that's just a quick way of using the test data functionality in any way data to combine the faker functions using the fake command and generate as much data as your browser can handle.